Welcome to the indices and here we're looking at the uh, S&P 500. The move that we've had up through here is still counted as corrective in terms of a A wave, a B wave and a C wave. There's uh, five waves in here so it can fail right from here. The volume that's been, uh, well the strong volume initially here and this is the volume supported 1865 but the volume over these days here has been very low. So uh, there's no real sort of volume driving uh, that. Um, if we look at this last little structure here uh, in terms of um, 15 minute charts and five waves, it can end right here. So it could work lower from here. Um, one of the um, uh, other sort of main points is the previous high um, is over at... Um, at 15, uh, 19, two, uh, 19, say 19, uh, two or 19, three, depending on what platform in the cash. So if we see one move above that, then it's going to put this whole pattern here in a bullish mode. So if we get, if you see a move up through to there, then that's a critical point. Then you know that you've got a, uh, a bullish market. And that's the same for the Australian market too at, um, at, at 55 uh, 10, 5,510 on the cash market, a move up there that puts both of those markets in a, in a bullish mode. So we've really just got to be a little bit mindful that it can end here um, and the volume is sort of supporting that it could end here, um, but a move above this previous high here, then it's in a bullish pattern and it will move higher from that point there. So uh, that's something to watch. Also too with the... Um, uh, with the bonds as well, uh, the notes rather, we're looking for, we, we understand this is an impulsive wave up through here. So if, um, you know, I originally had this correction here as an ABC, but then it's just gotten a bit larger, it's basically doubled in size, but it still works. Uh, it still works as an A and a B and a C wave here. So a move up through here and especially above these highs here, puts it back into bullish mode and, and the bigger the correction, the bigger the next trend. So um, just very sort of sort of subtle points to watch out for next uh, in the next session there. And that will dictate what direction that we're actually going to be moving in. So uh, yeah, all good there. Um, this is the, the, the DAX is uh, a bit the same as the um, S&P 500 in terms of its move up here can also be counted as an A and a B and a C wave here as well, ending uh, here. Um, so we just got to watch out for this as well. Um, but uh, a move higher than uh, you'd look to go long on, well, on top of group one, which is 97.30. You could possibly even do it from 97.20 as well if it was, they had a nice retest and support there. But because of what's happening in the um, in the other markets, I'd, I'd certainly sort of wait for the 97.30 to become the retested support. And if that doesn't happen, then this market will move lower uh, in line with the S&P 500. Uh, this is the FTSE here, and there's a there's a case for um, upside here more so than the other markets because we've got five waves off this low here. Um, sure, it's not the best looking sort of five waves I've seen, but um, we can see a strong third wave here, fourth and a fifth. So we'd be looking for an A and a B and a C coming back into the 6800 here, and then moving up from that point. Now, if it found the 6800 as a um, as a retested resistance, then it's further downside. But this whole move down through here, we've looked at this as counting as an A, an A and a B and a C for the B wave and down for the C wave. That seems to be the best fit for this. Um, so, um, you know, and we've I called that in and, and now we've got this five wave structure here. So this little ABC correction here that we're looking at coming to the downside, the little, if I just come back here a second from this top here, we'd be looking at a five, three, five structure. So five waves here, three here, five here, and then moving up from that point there. As long as, you know, realistically that's, that's sort of retracement level 61.850 holds in at 68 there. Uh, then you'd look for this to move down through here, then find support on 68.20, go long from there. If it doesn't come all the way down through here, but I think it will because when, when we look at this here, from this high here, we can see that there's one, two, three, 
four and five here a very nice structure to the downside here so we're seeing the you know the initial uh, impulse wave down so an a and a b and a c and then down for the c wave to here and then up from that point so that's something to watch out for uh, here as well uh, in terms of the upside so you could say that 6830 top of group one as support is the trigger for the upside okay but um, just don't rush it because we're looking for a five three and then five here and then impulse waving up through that way but if the 68 becomes resistance then it's obviously going to follow the S&P 500 now the ASX 200, let me just find the uh, right charts here, sorry about this, um, you know we've been toying with um, with this and uh, it, it does count quite nicely as a, I mean, uh, as an A and a B and a C correction, okay? Now, um, we were looking at this five wave structure through here and we know that once that, that had finished we'd be uh, moving up but we weren't sure if we're going to be moving up in five waves or three waves. And it does appear to be moving up in five waves, um, but it could be corrective as, as well. We just need to be a little bit careful. But the move up here has got no overlapping wave structures. It's it's very sort of, it's got that more of an impulsive feel about it uh, as such. Now, if we get a move above this little guy here, then that would actually confirm that this is an A and a B and a C wave here. And on the cash market, that's at 55.10. On these markets, it's 55.13 or 11 or something. But uh, anyway, you, you get the picture. We just need to move above that here. And that confirms that this is a three-wave price action. And then we'll be getting highs above uh, this double five, double five over here roughly. So um, yeah, look, that's good positive news uh, on, on that front. Uh, but at the same time, you know, this, because we've got five waves here, this can be down for one, back for two, down for one, back for two, until it takes that high out there. So that's the tricky bit here that we need to look at. Uh, the other point is, is that, um, you know, a strong closing on Friday would follow through on the Monday as well. So yeah, uh, look, I don't really know what to say. It's going long just under this, at a point where it can fail is, um, yeah, a bit tricky. But look, today's uh, push up, BHP was up 1% in the US. Um, the banks are looking quite strong. Um, so we should see a breach above this. And anyway, that's the trick. That will, that will give you confidence that that high there will be taken out. All righty. Um, so that's it, I think. Yeah, all good. Okay, enjoy the weekend.